On your Windows computer, you have a really critical folder called System32. Deleting this folder would cause a lot of damage, so let's delete it. Also, I will try to delete the equivalents of System32 on macOS and on Ubuntu Linux. On Windows 11, System32 is located inside of local disk, Windows, and if you scroll down a little bit, there it is, System32. This folder is of course protected against deletion, but there are a few methods to delete it. What I will do is open up the command prompt and take ownership of this folder. I will also not show the exact commands I'm using because I don't want to be the one who gets blamed after someone deletes their system32 after watching this video. Then I granted myself permissions so that I can modify this folder's contents. And now we can finally go ahead and delete system32. Right away, the first thing that I noticed was when opening a program like Notepad, we get an error. And the error cannot be closed properly, it fights back. If we go ahead and open the file explorer, you can immediately see that the whole sidebar is gone. But other than that, it seems to work. Then there are a lot of applications that we straight up cannot open, like the system settings or LinkedIn. You cannot look for a job when your system32 files are deleted, or the calculator. But there are also some applications that just give you this empty error. Pretty cool. What about system performance? Trying to open the task manager doesn't really work. Reason why programs are not opening is because a lot of Windows functionality, like launching programs, depends on certain system32 files, which we have deleted. However, you can still set up OneDrive, so you're good. Anyway, what happens when we restart? Oh, right, you can't. The buttons don't even work anymore. I managed to shut it down and when we boot back up, we see preparing automatic repair. Your PC did not start correctly, so that's what happens. But what about deleting the system on macOS? I can give you the wrong answer and the technically more accurate answer. I'll give you both, actually. The wrong answer would be that we delete slash system folder on macOS. Despite its name, it is not equivalent to system32. macOS spreads out its core files across multiple folders in different locations. The technically more accurate answer would be something like this. This is based on what I could find about the macOS system and how it works. It's not 100% accurate, but overall, all of these directories combined together are close enough to a system32 equivalent. I have disabled a few system protections through the recovery mode. And now let's go ahead and attempt to delete all of these files. I typed in my password and the deletion could begin. However, immediately we find out that we can't delete it. macOS has a lot of protections by Apple against crazy people like me. I could not manage to delete these files. But what about the slash system folder that I mentioned previously? It's not exactly the same, but I guess we can delete it as well and see what happens. I wrote the command and began the deletion process. Try to look at the doc really closely. macOS is gone. Soon enough, it reboots and we see recovery is trying to change system settings. Authentication is required to verify a startup disk. macOS is just done at this point. It needs to be reinstalled. So that's what happens. But now, can you do this on Ubuntu Linux? <sighs> you can do everything on Linux. The equivalent of System32 on Ubuntu would be split across multiple directories. My research estimates that something like this, all combined together, would be a pretty close equivalent to System32. Once again, it's not 100% accurate. These operating systems function very differently, but it's close enough. So let's go ahead and delete it. Once I run the command, it seems like we could not delete the EFI partition. Immediately after the deletion, dash icons completely disappear. I am left only with the trash. Now, I can still open the app overview, but all of the apps are gone. There seems to be only this utilities folder left. On the desktop, I can still create folders. However, they cannot be opened. This is because Ubuntu's file manager Nautilus doesn't work. I'm not exactly sure why, but one reason could be because some binaries or shared libraries were deleted that it depends on. Either way, I cannot open anything. I also found out that I cannot open the terminal. However, at least you can still take screenshots on your system. They seem to save to your clipboard. And once I lock the system, it says authentication error and I cannot tap in my password to get back in. I wanted to shut down the system, but in the power of options we no longer have shut down or restart. They have disappeared. 
I managed to shut down and boot back up and now we see that Ubuntu can no longer start. Very nice. Check out what happens if you delete System32 on every Windows version. And remember, I'll be back.